So in this video, we are going to talk about the zeros of a polynomial function. Now the zeros of a polynomial function f of x are the values of x which make f of x equal 0. Better so we can say that the zeros of a polynomial function f of x are the roots of the equation where f of x is equal to 0. Now to solve the equation f of x equals 0, first of all we need to factorize the polynomial. So here we have a question. Find the zeros of the polynomial f of x equals x cubed minus 2x squared minus x plus 2. So to find the zeros of this polynomial, we need to factorize completely f of x. Now from the factor theorem, we said that if f of a is equal to 0, then it means that x minus a is a factor of f of x. So by this, we are going to substitute any value of x into this polynomial to see if f of x will be equal to 0. Now if f of x is equal to 0, it means that x minus that value is a factor of f of x and then we can use the method of long division to find the other factors. So let x equals 1. Now if x is equal to 1, then it means that f of 1 is equal to 1 cube minus 2 times 1 square minus 1 plus 2. So 1 cube is 1. 1 square is 1 times negative 2 is negative 2 minus 1 plus 2. So we have 1 minus 1 which is 0, negative 2 plus 2 which is also 0. So it means that f of 1 is equal to 0. Now since f of 1 is equal to 0, it means that x minus 1 is a factor of f of x. So since we have x minus 1, we can find the other factors in order to find the zeros of this polynomial function. So we have x minus 1 on the outside. And then we have f of x, which is x cubed minus 2x squared minus x plus 2 under the square root. Now x cubed divided by x is x squared x squared times x is x cubed x squared times negative 1 is negative x squared so x cubed minus x cubed is 0 negative 2 x squared minus negative x squared is negative 2 plus 1 so negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1 so negative x squared minus x negative x squared divided by x is negative x so negative x times x is negative x square negative x times negative 1 is plus x negative x square minus negative x square is 0 and negative x minus x is negative 2x and then plus 2 so negative 2x divided by x is negative 2 Negative 2 times x is negative 2x. Negative 2 times negative 1 is plus 2. So the factors of this polynomial f of x are x minus 1 and then x squared minus x minus 2. Now this is a quadratic function so we can find the factors of this function. So that is x squared minus x minus 2. The coefficient of the x squared term is 1. The coefficient of the constant term is negative 2. So 1 times negative 2 is negative 2. So we need to find the factors of negative 2 that multiply to negative 2 and then add up to negative 1. So we have 1 and then negative 2. So this becomes x squared plus x minus 2x minus 2. So we have x outside x plus 1 minus 2 x plus 1. So it means that the factors are x plus 1 and then x minus 2. 
So the complete factors of f of x are x minus 1, x plus 1, and then x minus 2. So to find the zeros of f of x, we are going to equate the factors to 0. So for x minus 1, x minus 1 is equal to 0, x is equal to 1. For x plus 1, x plus 1 equals 0, x is equal to negative 1. And then x minus 2 equals 0, x is equal to 2. So the zeros of the polynomial f of x are negative 1, 1, and then 2. So for the second question, if x plus 1 and x minus 2 are the factors of f of x, which is x cubed plus ax squared minus 5x plus b, find the values of a and b and hence find the third factor. Now from the question, we are told that the factors of f of x are x plus 1 and x minus 2. So what this means is that if you have x plus 1 equals 0, x is equal to negative 1, and then x minus 2 equals 0, x is equal to 2. So the zeros of f of x are negative 1 and 2, which also means that f of negative 1 and f of 2 are equal to 0. Now let's generate an expression for f of negative 1 and then f of 2 respectively. So f of negative 1 means that we are going to substitute negative 1 into f of x. So that is going to be negative 1 cube plus a times negative 1 square minus 5 times negative 1 plus b. So negative 1 cube is negative 1. Negative 1 squared is 1. So plus a. Negative 5 times negative 1 is 5. And then plus b. So this becomes negative 1 plus 5 is 4. Plus a plus b. Now this is equal to 0, equal to 0, equal to 0. So it becomes a plus b equals negative 4. Let's call this equation 1. Now for f of 2, f of 2 is equal to 2 cubed plus a times 2 square minus 5 times 2 plus b equals 0. 2 cube is 8. 2 square is 4, so 4a. Negative 5 times 2 is negative 10, plus b equals 0. So we have 4a plus b. Now 8 minus 10 is negative 2. And then we transpose negative 2 to the right hand side. So we have 4a plus b equals 2. Let's call this equation 2. Now since we have two equations, we are going to solve them simultaneously. So let's make B the subject from equation 2. So from equation 2, B is equal to 2 minus 4A. Let's call this equation 3. Now we are going to put equation 3 into equation 1. Now this is equation 1. a plus b equals negative 4. So you have a plus b is 2 minus 4a equals negative 4. Now we are going to simplify. So we have a plus 2 minus 4a equals negative 4. a minus 4a is negative 3a. And then we transpose 2 to the right hand side. So 
minus 2 and that is equal to negative 6. We divide through by negative 3 and then we have a to be 2. Now we are going to put the value of a into equation 3. So we have b equals 2 minus 4 times 2 which is equal to 2 minus 8 and then it's equal to 6. Sorry, negative 6. So b is equal to negative 6. Now back to this function, f of x, we are going to substitute the values of a and then b into this polynomial function. So it means that f of x is equal to x cube plus a so you have 2 x square minus 5 x plus b so minus 6 so this is the polynomial function f of x so to find the third factor from the question we are told that x plus 1 and x minus 2 are the factors of the polynomial f of x so we are going to multiply these two factors and then we are going to divide f of x by the results that we obtain by multiplying x plus 1 and then x minus 2. So f of x is equal to x cubed plus 2x squared minus 5x minus 6. And we are told that x plus 1 and x minus 2 are the factors of the polynomial. So let's multiply x plus 1 and then x minus 2. So x times x is x squared. x times negative 2 is negative 2x. 1 times x is x and then 1 times negative 2 is negative 2. So this becomes x squared minus x minus 2. So we are going to divide f of x by x squared minus x minus 2. x cubed divided by x squared is x. So x times x squared is x cubed. x times negative x is negative x squared x times negative 2 is negative 2x. Now x cubed minus x cubed is 0. 2x squared minus negative x squared is 2x squared plus x squared, which is 3x squared. And then negative 5x minus negative 2x is negative 5x plus 2x, which is negative 3x. And then we have negative 6. Now 3x squared divided by x squared is 3. So 3 times x squared is 3x squared. 3 times negative x is negative 3x. And then 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. So when you subtract the 2, you have 0. So it means that the third factor of f of x is x plus 3. So that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching and see you in my next video. Bye bye.